is there one thing that sticks out from you that you that you picked up? Uh, I'd say the detail and the pace that they play at, I think that's something I got to work on. Just watching Jason Tatum work out, just the pace he went at things, and just the detail, how he reads the defender, all that stuff is something I'm trying to pick up. I'm trying to learn and incorporate in my workouts at school. Did you just school you? Oh, I mean, Tatum, I'm going to say I, cont- I had like an 80% contest on him, swish. I thought it was great defense. He hit a tough shot. Bradley Beal hit me with a step back, but those are the only two buckets I got. So, um, <laughs> Other than that, I'll solve it, I'll say. <laughs> what do you make of this group? You know, you're yeah. one of the veteran leader kind of guys now. Oh, yeah. Just talk about the new faces and, and what you make of them so far. Yeah, I think the freshmen have been fabulous so far. I think they still have a long way to go. They're still learning. They're still trying to pay attention to detail and really just trying to take them under their wing. And um, it's hard. It's hard playing for Coach Hurley. So just, it's hard being a freshman. So I'm just trying to help them help them learn a lot of new things and really take them by the wing. And then Cam as well. I mean, Cam, he's a vet. He's been phenomenal so far. I think he's going to be a great player for us and a key player for us. And when I mean, you guys saw it today, he's a fantastic player. What, what does this trip mean for this team, for you individually in your game? Yeah, it means a lot. I think just giving back to the UConn fans before we go to Europe is special. Just having to play five on five in front of fans again is amazing. And um, it means a lot to me. I mean, the support that we have from UConn Nation is unbelievable. And, you know, just always wanting to give back is awesome. Alex, I hopped in a moment later. I don't know if you already addressed this particular aspect. But Cam seems to bring a lot physically, has a lot of gifts, obviously. How do you see his process of development kind of playing out the next few months where he's really able to make an impact like, like you did? Yeah, I say understand the game, but I think it's being coachable for him. I think he allows the coaches staff to be hard on him, let him, you know, bring out the best in him. I think he'll really go to another level. He has the talent, he has the physicality, he has everything that most freshmen aren't gifted when they come into college with, and he has all of that. It's just, just playing hard, getting the coaching down, and um, really just turning it up another level. Do you see yourself stepping into a more of a vocal leadership role with this team? I didn't expect it to be this early, but yeah, I have to be the vocal leader for us. I think Tristan does a perfect job setting the example. Donovan's going to help with the vocal as well, but I think I have to really lead the vocal. I mean, I was here last year and half the year earlier, so I've seen RJ, Tyrese, and then Andre and Adama. So really trying to use my voice on something I'm working on every day with the coach and staff, just trying to get them going and create a competitive environment. Donovan said he's never seen one in the gym as much as you. How much time are you in there? A lot. A little too much, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I need to cool it down a little bit. But, um, I mean, I love it. There's nothing to do in campus, so I just stay there. And then um, I just love it so much. I just want to get better every day. Really, I'm just trying to make that freshman, sophomore year jump. I know I have a long way to go still, but I'm more than excited. I know the work's going to pay off. Have the two of you talked about, you know, they're going to be coming for you guys more. Obviously, other guys have played, but it's a lot of it's going to lay on, uh, on YouTube this year. No, yeah, definitely. We're ready for it. We're roommates, so we talk about it every day. And uh, we know the target's going to be giant on our back. Uh, we talk about what we need to do as veterans. And we need we just have to talk about, you know, just being around the guys, knowing what they are on the court, but more importantly, what they are off the court. So making sure that team chemistry is right, like how it was last year. How big do you think the Europe trip is going to be for the, for the team chemistry? Huge. <laughs> Huge. I, I can't wait for Europe. I'm so excited. It's going to be the most important trip, I believe. And I think, really, we're going to come out of Europe as a much better team, a more connected team. And I think it's really going to shape us, and it's a unique experience. You mentioned working, just becoming that vocal leader. Is that something that comes naturally, or is it something that you know you feel like you got to work yourself into? i got to work on it. It's not natural for me at all. I think I'm a shy guy. I'm quiet, very laid back. And, um, you know, that's just how I am throughout my life. And um, I think that's something you need to have to work on on the court. I think just being more vocal, just outgoing is something I really have to work on in general with everything. So um, that's something I'm definitely working on. Would you prefer everyone just follow your lead? I'm going to work hard, just follow what I do kind of thing? I definitely prefer that, but I know we already have a bunch of those guys on the team, so someone's got to bring the voice. So I know i got to step into that role, and I'm more than capable of doing it.